new folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. <laughs> right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna give you a route to recovery. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give you a, a scenario. Say you, uh, in any words you can, you notified the government and the judiciary of who you are. You sent a notice, an affidavit of truth, as it is, to uh, the Attorney General, Secretary of State, or Chief Justice, the Queen, Archbishop of Canterbury, Crusader Dick, the Police Chief, your local Police Chief, um, a couple of others, whoever you feel like sending to other than that, but that's just under notice to agent, notice to principal, taking care of the entire entirety of the government, judiciary and the uh, church. So uh, that's the Vatican under notice to agent, notice to principal, the Archbishop of Canterbury. You can't get to the Pope, you don't answer his mail. You don't open his mail, it don't get to him. It's being diverted away from him, so nothing ever gets to the Vatican. So you don't do that. So anyway, you've noticed them. You're not one and the same to the person. In any words you can. And there's loads of information out there. Point loads of people to court rules. Have a look at court rules. If you look down the sort of shit he puts on there, will tell you in a million different ways how you're not the person. And it'll tell you in a million different ways how all their court systems are not only unlawful, but illegal. Um, so crack in there and just get your head into the shit. Now, every time you see something that's illegal, that, that, complain, uh, that explains how their system is illegal, I'm not talking unlawful here, I'm talking illegal in their realm. It's illegal. It puts a lot up like that, and these little snippets, everybody just reads through. If you just wrote that little snippet down and made a file of all these little things that make their system illegal, and then you make another little uh, file of all the things that make their system unlawful. Right, now what you've done, you've evidenced there to the entirety of the judiciary, the, the whole of this government and the Vatican, that you're not the person. You've evidenced that. So if these claims come for you, and you evident, you go to them now, you can say to them, it's been evidenced and accepted, because it's been accepted by acquiescence. So everybody from the Queen to the uh, Attorney General to the Lord Chief Justice, they've accepted by acquiescence that you're not the person. That's been accepted at law at every single level. Now say a claim came in and it was a court, and you haven't got the confidence to say, fuck you, I'm not going into your court. So you're gonna turn up at the court, but you've got written down on a piece of paper every single way that what they're doing is illegal and unlawful. Every single way. From the justice to the clerk, the clerk to the court, clerk to the justice, he acting in the position of executor son. You're the chief executor. He had no authorization to act as executor. That's a tort. You can take them all the way down, abduction or kidnap if they took you, abduction, theft of property if they've took anything off you. Um, trespass, you go in there, you've got a counterclaim. They want, to, they want to get your name. Well, first of all, you can absolutely stalemate any court. They can't move forward unless you give them that name. That's absolutely impossible. They cannot move forward. So you could just do that and, and not go anywhere. But in all honesty, you've got all your paperwork, so you just start talking. Rather than, rather than answer a question and wait for them to ask you another one. Now you're on the back foot. You start talking. It's been evidenced and accepted by Queen Elizabeth, the defender of my faith, fucking Pretty Patel, Secretary of State. Cassia, Suellen Cassiana Braverman. Suella Braverman, she calls herself, that's her real name. Um, Attorney General. And blah, blah, blah. You go through all these people that have evidence and accepted that you're not one and the same as the person. And then you continue talking. And you start going through the crimes that are being committed right there and then. That you've got all listed down. That you've done your own due diligence and you find out how and why they are breaking the law. So you start reading it all out to them. Now, I don't give a flying fuck who thinks what, but if you honestly think that court could possibly find anything or any judgment against you, you're off your fucking tits. And now I've been telling people for a long fucking time and I've been trying to tell people what to do, how to do, and blah, 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 blah. 
but that is a plain and simple absolute fucking route for any court whatso fucking ever and I don't care if it's a magistrate I don't care if it's a crime court and I wouldn't even care if it was a Queen's fucking bench itself no court in the world could ever put an act and statute on you if you did that now I'm getting really fucking stressed out at the minute with folks coming to me going I can't get it I can't I don't get it when I tell them that easy that fucking simple and if it's that simple for me to say no matter how fucking complicated you thought it was fucking play it back again and just listen to that again because I'm not one of these that fucking try and tangle you up. I'm not one of these that try and leave things vague. I tell you exactly how it is in plain simple fucking English. Which is what you should be talking to them in and telling them you're talking in plain simple English. All words defined by you. Any legalese, any semantics, you require a translator. Just remove all of this shit. Twelve presumptions at law. Look them up. I've court rules I'm sure is gone stuck in there I mean I think they're in my files I can put them up in wonky world files and you can just uh, rebut all the presumptions that they work on 12 presumptions only 12 and they're in writing so you can easily uh, you can easily rebut them just write that on a piece of paper look there's a hundred and one ways to fucking destroy a court and what I've got is people who just haven't got the balls to do it telling me they can't do it now that's fucking bollocks and I'm sorry if you don't realise how easy this shit is. They're breaking the law. You need to learn how they're breaking the law. You need to learn to tell them they're breaking the law. And I don't give a shit how you talk. It doesn't fucking matter. Do you think it makes a difference? That comes down to semantics. No semantics, no legalese. Doesn't matter how you talk. You're telling them they're breaking the fucking law. They're telling you you you've you've broke a rule and a code that you've already evidenced you're not the person or liable to. You're the beneficiary. Start acting as the beneficiary. Tell them they're the trustee. Now who's in the position of liability? Right. Now we've worked out who's in the position of liability. Now we come back to this personage bit. We go into the personage bit, and then you can prove who's in the position of beneficiary and trustee. Now we've worked out who's in what position, what position does what, and who's in the position of liability. That's not me. Now I know that sounds complicated, but it really isn't. Beneficiary, no liability. Trustee liability their trustee your beneficiary that's that and no matter how complicated everything else sounds work on that base your beneficiary their trustee trustee is liable beneficiary isn't you give your caps name you then take on the role as trustee how quick do you want to give that name let me run you through this again <clears throat> if you give that name you become trustee and liable for everything they say. If you don't give that name, you give them the first name only as beneficiary. As beneficiary, you're not liable for anything they say. They are liable for everything you say. Now, it, you can get it really complicated and I could go right into depths and wangle you all up and you I don't understand again. But try and keep it to them simple terms because there's a lot of shit going on and there's a lot of shit going to go on. It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And as folks realize, I cannot take on everybody's shit. It's got to the stage where I just can't fucking do it anymore. But it doesn't mean I can't come on here and tell you exactly how to fucking do it. Now, if you can't take simple instructions, then I genuinely can't help you. If you can't understand this video, play it back slowly play it back slowly again go on to court rules not my group I, that's just one that I tell you has some fantastic knowledge on court rules is nothing to do with me whatsoever I've just got a lot of respect for the guy who runs it and I've got a lot of respect for the group itself and the information he puts out there I don't always work on that information because I work on the lawful realm. He actually works on the lawful realm, but he actually gives you a lot of information on the legal realm as well, which you can take that information and you can use it for the lawful realm, but that's me doing what I do. I'm not trying to get you to muddy the waters. You do it exactly how you can do it, but it doesn't matter, legal or lawful, if you stood in that court and articulated to them what crimes they were actually committing, and if they wanted to proceed, they would be committing treason treason 
and they want to get you for breaking uh, a code, uh, a rule that says that you can't go 35 in a 30 zone or something like that, and they're going to commit treason to get a hundred pound fine on you. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I know some of you don't realise how, how this works, but this is how this works. Those that don't know get fucked. Those that do know have to have a little battle because otherwise everybody who wrote a fucking template would lose, wouldn't they? would win. And then they'd lose and the entire system comes crumbling down. So of course they have to make it look like you can't win. Of course they make it look like they're not taking any notice of you whatso fucking ever. You go in there with that information. There's no way in the world. And you do it if you don't want to go into the court. You do it by notice with that information and then you take that, if they're going to proceed, you take that into, into a county court for judgment. Put it in the county court for judgment. Now you've got judgment and I mean, county court judgments only take a couple of weeks to come through. So in all, all honesty, you could possibly get that judgment before the court case even came up. Now if you get that judgment, how the fuck can they bring a court case against you? And if they did and you walked in there with that judgment, as the man or woman, you go in there with that judgment, how the fuck can they continue? And then they, oh no, we're gonna drop it. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Counterclaim. Yeah, we're not gonna hear you fucking are gonna wear a counterclaim. Fraud, treason, fucking trespass, theft, whatever you've got going on, demanding money with menaces, you fucking are going to hear a, a counterclaim. And they fucking absolutely will. They absolutely have to. Folks, this law, although I'm not, listen, I'm not making it out, it's really fucking easy, but it's simple. It's simple. They make it complicated by deception. Remove the deception, what's left is really simple. You can stand there and be absolutely in honour and telling the absolute truth by saying the only ones committing any crimes today here or over this fucking account is you. I wouldn't advise saying fucking account, but <laughs> the only ones breaking the law here is you, not me. I've done my due diligence, boom, here's my paperwork, acquiescence in full, so everything in here is accepted. Let me read to you what's been accepted, and then you go through what they've accepted. Counterclaim, how much do you want? How much do you want? <laughs> Guys, the fucking limit on that one. I know the magistrate ain't going to give it you, but they're going to have to bump you up to a court above. And then if you've got your paperwork in order, you've sent them the paperwork in the first place, telling them who you are, you're not the person. When you go into that court, no, you just require remedy. Just require remedy. You should put it in your paperwork. If you uh, if you ever stood in front of a, a true judge under an oath, first order of business will be to handle the remedy of the paperwork. It's there in black and white. Any judge that I ever stand in front of will automatically be standing in the uh, express position of trustee. <laughs> it's all in your paperwork, it's been expressed, bang, there. thank you very much, trustee, here's my trustee now. <laughs> yeah, who's the beneficiary judge? Who's the trustee? I require remedy. What do you require? My weight in fucking gold, you bunch of cunts. You're as king, and I can't give you gold. But I promise you, what he will give you in this place will settle your fucking family tree's life. So, hey, what are you after? Are you after money? Well, are you just after a good, good easy life? No, you're not going to get that. This entire criminal corporation and the, the entire system is set up to hound everybody it meets. Get yourself through court if you want, then that'll be a different story. Unless you want to just learn some shit and pass some shit on and then do what I do but uh, you do it to the level you can but folks don't sweat the little shit magistrates courts are unlawful and yes they're a nuisance and yes they give you that feeling in the stomach and oh somebody's coming for me for get the feeling in your fucking stomach where saying fuck you fuck you the fuck do you think you are you criminal bastards hey but hey that's just me what can I say um, I try to tell you folks, I always try to tell you, you don't need somebody else to do it for you. <clears throat> Break it down to its simplest form 
and start studying from there. Start studying from this video, from the knowledge that I've just given you on this video. Start studying from that, from that point. Ignore all the peripherals. Ignore all these fucking idiots that are trying to talk to you like you're an idiot. Or ignore them that are talking to you in manners that you cannot fucking understand. And I don't mean above your comprehension. There's some real fucking idiots out there. And, and they talk a load of shite and they do it to confuse you. Just remember, and I see recently one of the fucking, what you would call the heavy hitters, expressing his, his uh, corporate name as the man. <laughs> Well, this is where we are, these are the people you're dealing with. You use that fucking corporate name, you're the trustee, you're liable, end of fucking story. Ain't one of them gonna get me using my fucking corporate name. It's only there for when I require. It's not there for, for them, it's there for me. It's there to give me remedy. If I go into hospital, it's there for me to give. But I'll still give the autograph and not the signature. The autograph of the man connected to just your first name in full colons and then the corporate name with a full stop after it with a capital first letter and little the rest or all little don't put a all caps total but uh, that's your autograph with no liability and that's your standing as beneficiary or you can just do as I do it's just Craig in uh, in full colons. I wouldn't advise doing Craig unless your name's Craig, but your first name in full colons, and that is plenty. That's absolutely enough. And even for a county court with a thumbprint, that's everything. And goes Craig with a red thumbprint in a county court. I don't need to use that name. I don't need to use CPR. I don't need to use the uh, their their forms and paperwork. I'll do it all by notice. I won't be paying paying for justice. I won't do that. I'll be doing that by notice and I'll be explaining to them what paying for justice would be. It's, uh, it's a wonky old world where everything is deception. But those courts, they're not courts. The, court, the magistrates are not courts. And when you get up to what you'd call a real court, you're not operating as a court at that time. You can make them. But at the time you walk in on an act and statute, they're not operating as a court. It's all revenue. It's all revenue collection. You think of the amount of people that are sitting there in prison now over revenue collection. Over this criminal corporation that everybody's absolutely in love for, love with and uh, wants to go and vote for and shit every four years. <coughs> they're absolutely absolutely Stockholm syndromed up to the fucking eyeballs and they uh, they love this criminal corporation but uh, all they're doing is fucking you every single step of the way and you go in there and they will throw you into a prison if you don't say the right words now imagine just the very notion that you saying the right fucking words is the difference between being free to do as you wish and being imprisoned and a life of slayer servitude under slavery. <laughs> and that's the top and bottom of it. <clears throat> but folks don't want to learn. They'd rather whine about it on Facebook or uh, moan to somebody like me and try and get me to do something from. But it's there to learn. It's right fucking there. But imagine you're going in somewhere into a court. They're going to send you to prison. And the only difference between that is you knowing everything that they're doing is criminal. And if you don't, you go to prison. If you do, you're out. If you think you're going to go to prison for anything, surely that's got to be worth looking at. If you think that they're going to bring their own lawful claims on you for just living your life as you wish, surely that's got to be worth learning. People always jump to me with the rights to travel. Now, I've been doing it for... I'll be going towards a year now in my motor under my own plates. It's really easy for me to tell you how to do it, but it's really difficult to do. That's not as simple, and it should be. It absolutely should be. But you've got too many criminal agencies involved that, that don't give a shit. You know what I mean? You, you've got your Secretary of uh, State for Transport, Grant Shapps, 
anything you send to him is going to send straight to DVLA. So you need to first, you send something to him obviously, but then you put him under notice and then you hold him down for sharing your, sharing your data. You stop him doing that and then you can get that dealt with. Then you go to deal with the other agencies and then you've got to deal with your police. So it's not just a simple case of you send one piece of paper off, it don't work that way. You've got to handle your affairs and you've got to realise just how deep this goes and you've got to take everybody out of the equation. That's what you've got to do if you want to do the minor things within. But as far as clearing yourself from, from uh, claims and liabilities, that's very, very, uh, that's very, very easy. You just got to stand on who you are, stand on it, create trustees. They're already your trustees, but create express trustees within the judiciary, within the government, and then just stand as exactly what your paperwork said. And you're just that, it's evidenced, it's already accepted truth and judgment at law. So if you did follow one of these claims into a court, you've only got to take your fucking paperwork and stand on it. Pull them up, this page, that page, this page, that page. Make sure the court get it 24 hours before the court. A copy of it. Then it's entered into the court. And then you just go stand on it, it's all there, whatever you've put in there. Make sure it's right but just tear their fucking shit to pieces. Anyway, folks, bit of a rant, because uh, it is starting to piss me off at the minute, um, the sort of uh, comments I'm getting, and it's all through folks being pissed off because I won't do shit for them, and I know it is, but that's probably why it's pissing me off so badly, because, again, it's showing the manipulation what folks will go to just to fucking make me work my arse off instead of them learning a bit. But the reality is, the sort of claims I'm getting whinged at and moaned at are fucking absolutely ridiculous that can be dealt with in a blink of a fucking eye, and it's time folks started blinking them fucking eyes. So, guys and gals, have a good one, crack on, and uh, I'm off. See you later. Bye-bye.